Number one, there is a whole lot of yellow happening in this frame right now, which I have just now realized. And number two, I'm having a moment with hair clips lately, in case you couldn't tell. So today's video is one that you guys ask about all the time, and that is a thrift flip. Who are you excited to flip today, dude? Woo! Something that I talk about when I do thrift hauls all the time is that like, oh, I could cut these into shorts or I could tatter up this shirt or I could turn this into something else. And so I have done one of these before. It was a lot of work. I'm kind of not looking forward to that part of it, like the filming aspect. But I've been kind of saving up all of the thrift flips that I want to do recently so that I could do them in this video. So I am going to attempt to show you guys how I do my thrift flipping. And it's going to be kind of trial and error. So I mean, I'm not an expert. I'm not a seamstress for sure. But I definitely have visions for things when I first pick them up. So I thought it might be fun to share them with you. So I think I've got a couple pairs of men's jeans that I want to turn into denim shorts. I've got some t-shirts that I want to cut up. I actually want to try to DIY mineral wash something that I think will be really interesting because that's like my favorite kind of tea and I'm always like, how do they do it? And I found a tutorial, I think, on how you do it, I'm not sure. So I mean, this is going to be just as much of an adventure for you guys as it is for me. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in with her first item and let's flip some sh**. Woo! I'm so sorry, I'm 31 and I really need to learn how to stop. Welcome to my living room. So, I've got a pile of clothes here that I may or may not get through today, but we're gonna see. I think I wanna start with this Dodger shirt. If you guys saw my thrifting in Palm Springs video, I got this Dodger shirt for $2. I think it's really cute, it's cropped. I think it's a youth extra large, but I also thought it would be really cute in like a little tied up style, and I don't quite know how to cut a shirt like that, but I'm gonna try my best. I'll probably oh my god I just realized <laughs> I brought a shirt that's similar to it like it has a similar tie and I just kind of want to see like what it looks like so I can know what to go for this is just like a sweatshirt thing from boohoo so it has like a u shape and then you've got like your ties here so I'm gonna need to make room for it to tie up into okay we're kind of like rolling with this together guys this is like what i do when i'm not filming this part i kind of just go for it like i'm really not a great planner so how okay i think i'm gonna have to cut the bottom off to get that to work i really should buy like a better pair of scissors for the amount of cutting into my clothes that i do <laughs> Yikes. I would say that these scissors were literally like $4 from Target and I spray painted them back in like, I wanna say 2014 or 2015 for a DIY video. Do you guys remember when those were a thing? God. So now what I'm gonna try to do is make this little U shape. Should I make sure that this is like centered? Probably. Am I going to? Nope. Okay, so we got our little cutout. I've seen better use, I'm not gonna lie. But are you going to be wearing this shirt? No, I am, I'm sorry. Okay, so now that I'm looking at it, it definitely needs to be deeper because it needs to be able to be actually tied. And then the ties are gonna go something like that. So I definitely need to make it a bigger U so that it can actually be tied together. Oh God, things are happening, cool. Deeper U has been acquired. So now what I think I'm gonna do is cut a little strippy on this side and then like go over like this. Oh, this is not going the way I thought. I'm basically giving my shirt fangs. Like that's the idea. It's gonna be a freaking cute shirt if it's the last thing I do. I have a vision. So we got those taken care of. Now we can just cut right across the back here. Wow. So what I always do when I'm cutting my shirts is make sure to like pull the edge, like pull it very, very taut because it rolls after that. And then you don't have that like jagged seam thing happening. So when, the more you pull, the more kind of uniform it'll look. And it'll look better like when you wash it and stuff. So, okay, here we go. We're getting somewhere. Like that is cute, but I definitely do think I need to just deepen this a tiny bit more because this tie is gonna be very small. Yeah, okay. Like, I'm kind of impressed with myself. Just really didn't think it was gonna go this well. Okay. Work. 
Look, I just tied this up. Like, this is a cute shirt. Please try your very best to ignore this very matching nature. I truly did not plan that. But this actually doesn't look bad. I mean, it's not 100% exactly what I would have wanted for it, but like, it's kind of cute. Like, if I was going to a baseball game, I would 100% wear this. This is cute. For two bucks, like, I'm honestly kind of shook. I probably could have done a better job at like thickening these, but you know what? I'm really, truly not mad. This turned out okay. We're off to a good start. We're gonna cut up some men's jeans slash shorts. I bought this pair of shorts when I was at a Goodwill in my area that just need to be cut a little bit shorter. And then I bought these two pairs of men's jeans when I was at the worst rated thrift store with Alexa when we were there back in like, I don't even know, February or something like that. And I still haven't cut these yet. So this matching thing is driving me crazy. I have to put my other shirt back on. So what I'm probably gonna have to do is put on these jeans and then use my little pen here to mark them up where I want them to be cut. This first pair is really cute and I really like the frayed nature of them, but whoever cut them before they donated them didn't do the greatest job. These were pretty long and I actually had a little fold where I wanted to cut them. So I think I'm actually okay to just cut them on my own. I always like to button them up first and just try to make them like as aligned as possible before I cut. And this person had the right idea. Like you definitely do want to cut at an angle like this when you're cutting your jeans because you want there to be more space in between your thighs than like on the outside. But this is just a little too much. I'm kind of thinking maybe right here is a good spot. You've just got your clean line here and you can mess it up as much as you want. But really what I like to do is just let the washer do all the work for me. I mean, if you want it to be like super, super frayed, you can take like tweezers or scissors and kind of go in and do your thing. Or you can go in by finger or by hand and just kind of pull them apart. But I'm just gonna let the washing machine do it. And we will fold these in half and do the same thing on the other side. And there you have it. Oh wow, these are cute. Cute, cute, cute. So here we go, here's what they look like. I'm obviously gonna throw them in the wash, but I will show you guys like an after of what they look like right here on the screen. I think they're gonna be adorable. I'll probably end up like messing with them a little bit more and fraying them as time goes on, but they are a good start. I love doing this to find really affordable ways to wear cute, trendy shorts. A lot of times too, if you're a mid-sized gal, they don't make this style of like vintage short in your size. So for those of you wondering, these are actually a men's size 38. You definitely have to size up a lot when you're doing that for the men's department. So, okay, cool. Now we're gonna move on to the other two pairs. This one is a pair by Wrangler. So what I'm gonna actually do is put these on and the next pair, I'm actually gonna try both of these pairs of jeans on and then we'll mark them up and see. So here we have them right here. This is just what they look like as jeans. I mean, not my style at all. So what we're gonna do is mark where I would ideally like them to be. I think these ones I might do as a pair that you can like roll up. So I might cut them actually a little bit longer so that I can roll them maybe once or twice. So I'm gonna say maybe like right here is where I want them to be cut. So I'll just kind of like shoop. Do a little line right here and then I'll fold them and then cut them right along this line if that makes sense. A lot of you guys probably already know how to do this, but trust me, I get this question more than like anything else. So here we go. All right, so we're just gonna lay these out here. Try to lay them as flat as you possibly can. Maybe like shake them out. We're going to do our little cut here. Pray for me. I'm trying to do like a slight up angle with this one, but not so much that like it's gonna be heinous, like super uneven when we do the roll up. I do have to say that I probably just went against my own advice, which is to start long. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to roll these. I think these might just have to be like regular cutoffs, but that's okay. I was really just trying to do that to have variation in this video. Like I genuinely don't care. It's kind of one thing you have to do when you're going into any of these thrift flips is just have an open mind. It can start as one idea and then end up like another. So I'll put these in the wash with the other ones and we will see what they look like. Now let's move on to the last pair. Okay, and then here is the last pair, these gap ones. They're just very cute. 
I like the butt of them. I think like when I envisioned these pants, I just saw them as like super frayed cutoffs. So I think I'm gonna do them in like a little Daisy Duke number like this. And I always, especially with men's jeans, use the pocket as kind of like a guide. So wherever the pocket ends, I want my shorts to be a little longer than that because men's pockets are really super like deep. You definitely, definitely when you're cutting want to start longer because if you go too short, you can never go back. So I'm gonna start like right here maybe and make like a little mark for where I wanna cut them. See, just a tiny little thing. It'll come off in the wash and then we will cut into these as well. Okay, so again, we've got our mark on here and flipped it around. Now we're going to do just our one last cut. Let's hope this goes well. Things are going well, they're going well. I mean, you can find other ways to recycle that denim. You can make a headband out of it, I guess, if you wanted to. You could like use the fabric for scrunchies. Like there's definitely other ways where you don't have to waste your fabric. Okay, and then last but not least, we have this very Layla hair covered. It's like a double XL men's t-shirt that I got when I was in Palm Springs as well. It just says Arizona. And I thought this might be cool. Please ignore all the dog hair on it. I thought this might be cool to try to do something that I've always wanted to do, which is a DIY mineral wash. Now, I don't know how this is gonna go. And I found a tutorial online which says to soak several pumice stones in bleach. And I've only soaked two because they were $2.99 each and I'm not trying to like spend friggin $20 to try to DIY this shirt. So I got some bleach, I got my pumice stones. It said to soak them for at least six hours. They've been soaking since about 7 a.m. and it's 3 p.m. so that's like eight hours so they should be good to go. And then you take your shirt and you put it in a you know bathtub or an open sink or whatever which I'm going to be doing here. And then you take the pumice stones out and you like vigorously rub them all over the shirt and then you wait like 10 minutes and rinse it and wash it and it should give like a mineral wash effect. Now, I'm kind of apprehensive because I've tried to bleach things before and it definitely just turns the shirt like orange. So, I mean, <laughs> we're gonna see how this goes. I just realized that I do not have gloves, but I do have dog poop bags. All right, this is gonna have to do. So we're gonna take our stones. Oh God, I'm nervous. We're just gonna rub. Oh God, I'm nervous. It's already happening. Wait, what? I was not ready for this. <gasps> what the heck, no. Oh my God, it's really fast. Okay, faster than I thought, faster than I thought. Okay, no, 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 this is not good, this is not good. <laughs> Get the bath really quick. I mean, it might end up looking cool, I don't know. This bleach is powerful, honey. Oh, okay, no, 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 no. Um, <laughs> I don't know about this one. I, like, had no idea that it happened that fast. This is gonna look like an Ed Hardy shirt. <laughs> All right, folks, we're gonna put her in the wash and then we'll check in. Okay, so this is how the shirt turned out. Honestly, really bad. In fact, it might be the ugliest shirt I've ever worn in my entire life. It looks horrible. I don't know what I was thinking, like resting one of the pumice stones right here. Like it was soaked in bleach for eight hours. I really wonder about myself sometimes, but yeah, it didn't turn out good. But you know what? That is part of this whole process is like showing the parts that turn out less than perfect, all the hits and misses and fails included. So I'm really sad. This was a waste of $2. I actually really liked this shirt. I mean, I might try to keep it just to sleep in it. It, but it's really horrendous. Like it literally just looks like bleach threw up on my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not a fan of this, but hey, at least I tried. I might try it in a future thrift flip and do one that I've seen other tutorials on and use like fabric paint, like white paint instead of bleach because I don't know what I was thinking, but this was a massive fail. Can't win them all, but there was cute stuff throughout the video. So I mean, you win some, you lose some. So I hope you guys enjoyed these flipped items. I always try to incorporate tons of secondhand pieces into my wardrobe. I think it's really fun to give items new life and be able to buy something one way and then end up wearing it a completely opposite way. And I just think it's really fun. If you guys wanna see me keep doing these, definitely let me know in the comments below. I probably will eventually have to learn how to sew for these, but I'm putting that off as long as possible. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any other requests for thrift flips, like anything in particular you wanna see, definitely let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.